If there is one player in this draft that is the cliche of potential and upside, it's DJ Moore. He has the freak measurables, and he's the type of player who can literally score any time he touches the ball. There was a screen pass against Northwestern where he somehow broke free for the long touchdown. That's the spark that Moore can bring to your team, and I believe that ability will get him picked in the first round of this year's draft. In my opinion, there are a number of teams that would love to have him. The Panthers are the main one, but also teams like the Cowboys, Bills, and Cardinals that I could easily see taking him as well. As a prospect, Moore is incredible with the ball in his hands. He has elite quickness, and he has the vision of a running back to easily gain yards down the field. His upside is obviously one of his biggest pluses, but he's still raw as a route runner. He's also not good at making contested catches either. Based on these traits, I gave him an early second round grade in this draft. Looking at his film, Moore lined up for the vast majority of his snaps as Maryland's starting left receiver. He lined up outside, and he also played in the slot. His route tree was limited, where he primarily ran hitches, screens, and go-routes down the sideline. Maryland wanted to feed him the ball, and they purposely designed the playbook to allow all four of his quarterbacks to easily give it to him in space. And yes, I did say four quarterbacks, but he was still pretty much Maryland's sole source of offense this year. As a player, Moore has elite burst and agility after the catch, but he's still very raw in his development. He doesn't consistently press defenders up the field, and he doesn't always break his routes with urgency. Based on my tracking, there was a huge difference between how he ran his routes and how he runs with the ball in his hands. I was honestly pretty disappointed with the former, but he's so much fun to watch anytime he gets the ball in space. In my opinion, a lot of what he needs to perfect is how he sets up his routes. He needs to be more subtle with his head nods and footwork, which should allow him to gain more separation. He's obviously a very smooth athlete, but in the NFL, that will only get you so far. Outside of route running, his ability to win on contested catches isn't the best either. He's not good at using his body to box out defenders, and he doesn't consistently win against man coverage. He does a decent job of finding space between zones, but I feel like until he gets better at the physical aspects of the job, he's only a slot receiver and a scheme design mismatch right now. Moving on, and for Moore's pro comparison, he reminds me of Golden Tate. They're both roughly the same size, and they're both great with the ball in their hands. Also, the way the Lions currently use Tate on a bunch of screens, hitches, and flat routes, I could easily see Moore doing the same for his future team. He clearly has the upside, but he still has a long road until he's a matchup nightmare against NFL quality defenders. Well, that's all I have for you, and just like in my last video, here are my top three receivers. If you want to see my grades on the other eight receivers I've scouted, make sure you follow the link to my Patreon account. Just a $1 a month donation gives you full access to my big board and all my grades so far this season. In addition to this, and based on some of the requests I've received, I've also added some commentary for each of the main receivers in this class. Thanks again for watching, and you can follow me on Twitter at Samuel or Gold.